And today was a bit of a transition day in terms of our weather. Our cutoff low will push south. We'll have partly cloudy skies and cooler weather tomorrow. And then the offshore flow returns. The details coming up. Then we'll also be taking you out to Five Live Traffic. Look at that, a busy drive through downtown Los Angeles. An earlier signaler cleared along the 110, but the 710 also looks pretty busy. We'll be talking about what's going on on your drive this evening in just a few minutes. No, I'm sorry. You know what? I like to watch it via TV with a fair amount of distance, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, let's go ahead and take a look outside. We and, of course, we'll also be taking a look at your forecast. It looks like a nice evening tonight. We are starting to see those clouds roll in. Temperatures are going to take another dip tomorrow. And believe it or not, maybe the possibility of showers on the seven-day. I'll have that for you coming up. And then we'll also be taking you out to a brand-new trouble spot. As you make your way towards Granada Hills, a Sigler has been issued for the 118. We'll be telling you all about that as well. KTLA's Vera Jimenez for a look at our weather. Today, 70. Today, 70. So wow. the temperatures went down a slight bit from yesterday, and tomorrow they're going to go down once again as we get that onshore flow push in. And we will also see more cloud cover tomorrow afternoon. Right now, it's 59 degrees over downtown Los Angeles, 61 in Santa Ana, 60 in Ontario, and 62 for Palm Springs. On the satellite radar picture, that ridge of high pressure is continuing to push to the east. And as it does, we're going to see this trough of low pressure and this cold front push south. This is basically a cutoff flow that's just going to sit and spin over the Pacific through at least Saturday, and then it may pick up and move again. But with a cutoff flow, you just never know. But that's what it looks like it's going to do at this point. With that, we are going to see increased onshore flow, and those temperatures will cool down tomorrow, and then things are going to change. Those winds will shift when, uh, Thursday into Friday out of the north, northeast, and so we'll see a little bit more sunshine, and those temperatures will increase once again. But for tomorrow, we're going to see about a peak at that seven-day forecast. The valleys tomorrow, we're looking at that marine layer returning and temperatures are going to drop down to about 71 degrees. And then take a look at Thursday. We start to see those winds shift out of the east. And so we'll see those temperatures increase by a few degrees. Fog tomorrow to start the day. That marine layer will hopefully clear out by the afternoon. We'll see those winds increase Thursday into Friday, hopefully remaining below advisory levels. And then for the week, look at the seven-day forecast. Let's go ahead and take a peek at that five live traffic. We do have a brand new signaler. This is the westbound side of the 118. As you approach Reseda, traffic there is going to be pretty slammed. Traffic is backed up to at least a subtle at this point, and they are trying to get this lane out of the way and to the right shoulder. And again, that is a SIG alert. On the northbound side of the 110 approaching gauge, there is an accident that make that Adams. There is an accident there also tying up lanes. All right, that's a look at your drive and your weather. Share back to you. Okay, if you're there. And as we take a look over downtown Los Angeles, the onshore flow is bringing the clouds back. That means cooler temperatures and believe it or not, a slight chance of rain on the seven day. I'll have that for you coming up.